There's one little thing that I wanted to add to the video that I made um, responding to John Paul Prime's video on why it's okay to hit men. Um, and that's, it's a more general point than just regarding that specific situation. But it's regarding this idea that um, because someone is in a situation is being abused in a way that is unusual, that is not the conventional way, just because someone that usually is in the perpetrator class is now a victim, that makes it okay to assign that instance of abuse less of a value. So for example, if a man is getting um, physically assaulted by a woman, uh, that's less bad than if a woman gets physically assaulted by a man uh, because, or in part because, it's generally men abusing women and that's what happens in the majority of cases. Or another way that this argument goes is men have been abusing women for centuries. Um, so pay attention to women being abused, but don't pay attention when it's a man being abused. Um, and to me, that's, that's very wrongheaded. The thing is, for obvious reasons, from a utilitarian perspective, we have to pay attention to the overall trend. If it's women being mainly abused, let's say in the instance of, uh, of sexual abuse, and I think that's pretty clearly the case according to statistics, that means we need to uh, work hardest on removing that because that's the biggest problem. So if we're gonna build a shelter, we'd build a women's shelter because a men's shelter there would be uh, much less use for. Um, if we're going to have a campaign and if we have to actually focus on one or the other, then we're going to focus on violence against women. Um, of course, it might be even better if we can actually focus on both at the same time. But if we have to choose, then we're going to choose what has the most utility, which is preventing the greater harm. But when we're looking at an individual case, when we're looking at a man or a woman getting assaulted, then all of that no longer is really important. All that's important in an individual case um, is the amount of suffering involved, the amount of pain involved, the amount of emotional suffering involved, and so on and so forth. So when we analyze an instance of a man getting assaulted and a woman getting assaulted, if we somehow wanted to compare that, we would have to come to an understanding or an estimate of how great the negative effect of that incident is on that person. And based on that, I think we should evaluate which is the worst case. Um, and anything else to me is a, is a form of bigotry um, because you're basically, you're, you're implying that these people are defined solely by this characteristic that they happen to have um, and that somehow based on some historic context or some, some uh, world context, you can, just, you can just judge them or their situation based on that characteristic and that's not true. The only humane, um, approach that sees these people as individual beings as real people and not just as um as as objects of some classification or another is to look at the individual incident and judge it in isolation and that's why um why i find it so repulsive that one would show a video of a man being assaulted and then kind of try to paint this in a broader context because the context of that assault is clear it's an assault on a man um, I don't know how painful it was or or how he felt about it afterwards but um, I think a reasonable guess is that it was not good for him and it was not a pleasant experience and thus it should be condemned um, and broader context really doesn't play a role in that individual incident um, that said, as I mentioned before, uh, for pragmatic utilitarian reasons, we do have to go um, address the biggest problems first. And that may sometimes seem cruel because we will focus uh, on a certain subset of the problem and other people will um, be to some extent left uh, on the wayside and we should minimize that where possible, but it's not always possible. But unfortunately, that cruelty is a cruelty of necessity. It's not something that should guide our ethical reasoning, in my opinion.